Happy New Year! Operation Breed Cows for Leather for Books was a rousing success, but then again, Operation Check the Mob Farm for Rabbit Skins was an earlier success. I forgot that's a thing you can do. Oops! Either way, we now have books for some lecterns, so we can turn our first villager into a librarian. We are going to need to start making some cute little villager houses. And, of course, our main villager area is probably going to be a library, so I think for that we should build something straight off the back of this circle. I have several projects I want to get to today, so after we get this built, hopefully this villager will give us some glass, and that will be useful for our bee house, which I desperately need because I want to keep adding on to our house house, but I need honeycomb for that. Well, I am, of course, once again out of oak wood. I really need to start using other other woods as my main wood because I've been running out of oak wood so fast. I am very much starting to feel the need for quartz. So I think I'm going to do a little tiny bit of one blocking just to see we should be pretty close to the next step and I would like to get a trader and see if I can't either just get quartz off of a trader. I don't know that I've seen that trade come through though. Ooh, quartz, fantastic. Um, or more things for um, making some obsidian or making sustainable lava, something like that. Aha! There's a trader. It took almost no time. Fantastic. Hello, sir. Hi, what have you got? You've got some ice, you've got some sea pickles, and some dirt. I don't think I need an azalea or anything like that. You're basically useless. I could get a sniffer egg, but like... Do I want a sniffer egg? I love them so much, but I can't think of an actual use for them. Here? Right now? I don't think you have anything I need, bub. I do have quartz. I've been digging up quartz. Oh, that's perfect. That means we can get started on a moss farm basically right away. As soon as we have somewhere to put it, anyways. Um, I think then what we need first is we need a little spot for a little bit of a cobble generator. And then we need more lava. So in our farming area, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a cobblestone generator. That's our very first order of events here. All right, we're going to go ahead and make that lava bucket. Hot stuff. Now, for a cobble generator, I believe you simply just put... Mm, mildly problematic. We may be about to waste our lava bucket here. But, you have water on one side, and you put lava. This is literally how they, mm, this is literally how they're, okay, 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 okay. Dang it. Alright, well, let's grab this one piece of obsidian. Huh. <sighs> Obsessed with obsidian. Obtain an, an obsidian block. Well. We're what? 10% of the way from getting a, a portal? I'd say that went about as poorly as it could have. So, the good news is, I have figured out what went wrong with the cobblestone generator. The bad news is, we're still nowhere close to having any more lava. Until we get another trader who brings us magma blocks, I think that's the only way we can get lava. Okay, let's get ourselves a villager house. Oh, I forgot I didn't have Elytra. Alrighty, it is far from finished yet, and it's got just a teeny tiny bit of prison vibes, but it is villager safe and ready for these guys to move in. I'm sorry, what? Can we not do that? Oh dear, this just got worse. All right, we've got a temporary little fence there so they can't walk off onto other islands. Now, let's try luring one of these dudes with a workbench. Oh, he just slammed the door in my face. Come after it, bro. There we go. 
Over there? Yes. That's the ticket. There you go. Do not walk off into the void. No. Don't walk back there either. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in you go. Excellent. We'll put a carpet outside their house. All right, let's roll him. I do not want projectile protect protection, sir. Actually, we should have some emeralds and books on us so we can lock him in right away. Oh, fortune three. Oh, that's a good one, too. I really want to make sure I get silk touch, so I'm not sure if I should keep rolling it or if I should lock in his fortune three. All right, we're locking it in. Level yourself up. There you go. Feather falling four and glass. Excellent. You know what I've realized? We really should put our zombified dudes, our guys that we cured from being zombie in here. Like one of them's already a farmer, but we should switch out the other guy for the guy downstairs there. That's what we should do. All right, sir. I'm gonna buy the rest of your glass off of you. See so you level up again. And Thorns 3. Oh, you are, you are a very good guy. Fantastic. You are not going over to the blanket, or to the beds. Yes, excellent. Guys, villagers are never this cooperative. This guy is gonna get, oh jeez. No, 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 no. No, I ax you. Well. Good thing we have a guy who sells lanterns right here. Where did he even spawn? Sir, there's a bed right here. Come get it. Did Mr. Librarian take himself to bed? No, he did not. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, bro. Get yourself a bed. Come on, this one right here. I broke the bed. These fine gentlemen will be the death of me, I swear. Depth Strider 3? You know, it's a good one, but we don't need Depth Strider here. Not nearly as much as we do need Silk Touch. Protection 4. Oh, that's so good. I'm going for Silk Touch, though. I'm not... I'm... Mm. Mending. Okay. I have certainly already made quite a lot of preventable mistakes um, with my villagers. We need to make a pumpkin farm ASAP. But half of what makes the game so fun is the grinding itself. So I'm not too disappointed. Just a little disappointed. All right. I can't even buy one bookshelf. I needed I needed you, you to be you and you to be you. That's what I needed. I think the set of trades that we have from our villagers now means it's about time for a bit of a sugarcane island. Where should I put that one? Oh, there we go. Exactly 64 spots for sugarcane on that island. That's awesome. All right. Well, we are low on a bunch of resources, so I think it's time to do a little bit of one blocking again. So at this point, the biggest barrier to our progress is that we don't have lava. We desperately need lava before we can really kind of do more. Which means we just kind of keep digging up the one block and getting traders as often as possible. Hello, my good sirs. Are you up to more malarkey? Hey, 34. We're very close. Let's see. Oh, alrighty. Let me grab a Fortune 3 book from you. I think that's all the fortune I can grab from you right now. You're only giving me mending? That sucks. That sucks. I should have... I should have kept rolling for the silk touch. Dang it. And we have ourselves an anvil. Excellent. Let's stick it right there. And we're going to put our mending and fortune three on this pickaxe. I would like to point out that that pickaxe is our first enchanted item. <gasps> Hello, advancement mate. Step nine. 
which is mind the block 5,000 times. Hello, sir. <gasps> he has brought skulk sensors. Okay, okay. And a trident. I don't feel like I need the trident too much. But I will grab some skulk sensors. I'm sure we can make some use out of that. Ooh, we have obsidian. We have obsidian. That means, that means that we can actually start enchanting. Enchanting, going to the nether. Oh, this is excellent news. <gasps> Amethyst! Yes! <gasps> That's skulk. Oh, I don't have silk touch yet. Ah! Uh. Well, until we get Silk Touch, we'll get the XP from it. How about that? Now, I'm just realizing that I don't have Lapis. Okay. And with, with those three pieces of Obsidian, and the one that we accidentally made earlier, we should be able to make an enchanting table. Okay. Oh, let's see. We're going to need to make some bookshelves, too. 16. Alrighty. That means that we kind of need another level on this place. If we have amethyst coming up in our one block, does that mean we can potentially get calcite? Alright, we need an edge around there, anyways. Alright. That feels a little bit safer to climb up anyways. I definitely want to do more one blocking here in just a sec, but I want to set up our enchanter. We don't have lapis. I don't know if we can use anything other than lapis. Alrighty. So we have level 30 enchantment with silk touch. Oh, I just don't have lapis. I just don't have lapis. Okay, well. Let's grab our fortune pickaxe and get digging. Oh, there's another dude. Excellent. Hi, sir. What have you brought us? Calcite? No calcite. More dripstone blocks. I need actual dripstone, though. He can bring a wolf. You're useless. Useless. Anyways, our goal is to summon several of those dudes in the next few day cycles, so we will keep one blocking. The thing that I'm thinking is that we might need to go to the nether in order to get um, lapis. We might need to go to the nether. We might need to find blazes somewhere in the nether and then get a cleric villager. Ugh. It's gonna be a process no matter what we do. I am getting the feeling. Like, unless we find lapis in our one block we're kind of screwed no lapis so i th think i think it's fair to say that there's probably not lapis in the one block then so i'm not sure what to do also we haven't gotten any more obsidian no more lava has shown up no dripstone even. This is this this has certainly been interesting. Let's put it that way. Whoa! Did he get damaged because the other dude What happened there? Alright, let's go check out this newcomer. He was over here, I think. There he is. He's trying to get inside. Can't blame you for that, sir. Okay, beetroot seeds, don't need those. A beehive with a bee inside. That's kind of worth it. No, it's not. We can grow bees so easily. This is not what I need. This is not what I need. What's a girl supposed to do without anything to do, anything to get lava? I have had a remembry. I was planning to make a little pond here in the center of this island so that we can do some fishing. Now I'm pretty sure in order to get loot you have to have at least a 5x5 five five area. So we need to make sure we have at least that. I'm 
I'm suddenly second guessing myself because I think I think it's still a little bit too small. One, two, three, four. Ugh. All right, let's see if that gives us any treasure. All right, and then we pop down in here and we go boop. And then we do a little fishing. I feel like this is still too small. <gasps> Fishy business. All right, well, let's sit and do some more one blocking and hope that we get another trader. Hello there, fine sir. <gasps> You brought calcite for me? How sweet of you. And nothing to make lava with. Oh, this is mildly upsetting. Let's get all the calcite we can from this guy. I, I can trade zombie flesh for dirt. We should have plenty of that. Oh, come on. But that got us feeling a little bit more comfortable on our dirt in general. Now, today certainly did not go to plan, in part because those little scoundrels decided they only wanted to have two children. But we did have some unexpected good things show up, too, which I suppose isn't the worst omen going into the new year. But I think next time, we might be ready to venture into the unknown.